In this video, we'll go through a realistic bedroom rendering from scratch in SketchUp all the way to D5. Let me take this off. Um, let's move this a bit more over here. And uh, I'll just push pull this over here. Now that I'm looking at the reference image, I can tell that we have made an error right there. Okay, nice. So if this is 209, we need about 80 centimeters on that side, 290 by 30 centimeters, 290 by 30, thank you. And then this should be about 350. Now this should be somewhere around here. Cool, and uh, what we need to do here is just go five centimeters. Let's take this off. Now we can just push pull this all the way up. Uh, and then let's use the rectangular tool. Let's go somewhere around here. Pull this all the way on this side. Get out of this first. Uh, let's go like this. Push pull this downwards for 30 centimeters over here. And then, yeah, I think this can work. Uh, let's do, how much should we do? 60, 180, 180. Let's do 180. Um, let's draw this right here, this right here. Cool. And then um, double window. Let's use this one. Cool. And then let's increase it. And then let's just copy it. Oh, okay, so this is the bench here. Uh, something like this. Let me get a chair. So like um, rolling chair, is that what it called? What it's, oh, actually this is pretty similar to our model here and I can rotate this. Nice, and I can move this a bit forward. Let's push pull this all the way over on this side. 10 centimeters, uh, I'll just type in oval mirror. Oval mirror, this one. Yeah, this one seems good enough. Scale this like so nice. Move it a bit downwards. Um, let me just go with, let me just draw a glass, I guess. Not fence, but you know what I mean. And then let's go over here. Um, I think something like this can work. Let's go for glass and mirrors, glass, group, a glass. Let's go inside the group. And now I can just do this. Uh, I can just draw a rectangle, which is one, yeah, 150, whatever. And then I can just move this like over here and then I can do the gaps off, um, off the glass pretty easily. Uh, let me just copy this one more time, I think. And then we should be fine. Cool. You know what? Let me go to curtains real quick before I move on. Let me go to curtains. I think I'm going to download the curtains from here as well. I think this works fine. I'm just going to download this. Um, and yeah. Let me move this downwards. Over here. Let's rotate it. The ceiling is a bit too complicated in the reference image, so I think I'm just gonna go for something simple. Not that it is not doable, but honestly, I just think it will look just better if, uh, well, this goes, I don't know, why do we even need this? Yeah, that's that's my point. So I think let's just draw this first. Let's just push pull this upwards for 30 centimeters. Let me go downwards here. Um, I think I'll just, yeah, I think I'll just push this inwards for, yeah, something like this. This should go downwards, right? Let's do 15 centimeters. Let's go upwards uh, with the curtains. Actually, let's just scale them up. That way I just don't lose uh, the actual contact that it has with the ground right now. So first off, I'm gonna use the rectangle tool from this side all the way up to here. 
And then uh, this is the middle point. Come on. Oh, nice. Okay, so that could help. This whole thing would be just so much easier if I just took off the ceiling. Okay, and then I can just go right here. Let me select all of these. Let's uh, shift key. Let's hold the shift key, M key, control downwards for one centimeter. Let's do the same with all the other ones. Uh, one centimeter. Let's delete this, delete this, delete this. And this uh, why is this open uh, push pull this for I don't know two centimeters two centimeter double click double click those is double this over on this side and then we can just use both of these let's rotate a bit um, good let's just go to wood apply wood material right here and then let's go to concrete. Uh, let's just apply a concrete material here. And then let's go to uh, wood again. Let's apply this wood material on this. Uh, well, not everything else, please. And then we need another wood material over here. Well, this wood material is gonna be the same as this one, so. Uh, well, not this one. Okay, this one and this one is going to be the same material. Um, and then let's go to tile, not tile, synthetic surfaces. Nice. And uh, I think the color coding is done. And let's move on to D5. Finally, create a new scene. The scene needs a clipping plane. And we also need to go over here. We need to fly. To use the flies navigation, let's go a bit upwards. Um, calendar clipping plane, let's do it just a bit more. Okay, two point perspective uh, 1080 by 1080. Turn off auto exposure, turn auto update on. Let's move a bit to the left. Um, and now I think we can move on to the materials. Update scene. Material picker. This needs to be white. Uh, environment, HRI. Let's just use an HRI, please. Uh, custom. Let's try the midday HRI. Way too sunsetty. I would say. So, what about this? This seems a bit more normal. No, 0.3. Okay, let me move on to the materials. I think we have a good uh, a good start, like, in, like a good base just to move on to everything else. Um, let's go to the materials, let's go to assets, let's go to material, let's type in wood. Um, let's try and find a good floor material. Uh, brown pine, I need something a little, uh, like brighter. Cherry wood, cedar wood, hmm, this looks interesting. Uh, this actually matches perfectly. We'll just need to put this to zero. And we, I think it needs to be larger. Something like this. And maybe a bit darker. Yeah, I think something like this might work. We need some very light gray wood, like, so this is the only one that comes up. Okay, I'll move on to the rest. And then I'll come back to this later. Um, what else do we need? So this, oh, no, no, no. So I'll just tweak this a bit, lower the roughness, increase the specular option. Um, oh yeah. I also need to find a uh, wall paint. It just give me a regular wall paint, this one. I can just apply it here. Well, let me just apply it to the ceiling first. And then this one I can duplicate and apply it here, but instead I will just make it beige. Um, 
Let's go to the hex code. Okay. Let's go here and let me try something. I think this works better. Let me go to outdoor uh, furniture. I guess I can just use this then. Um, let's go over here, spotlight, IS distribution. I think it can be like this. Let's do the temperature a lot warmer and then the intensity could be 20. Let's do it for all of the other ones. Cool, and then let's select these two. Put them over here. Oh wow, the intensity is just way too high now. Um, what about what about if I just do eight? That should be better. Uh, what if I what if I just select this and duplicate it and apply it here, and then uh, basically I just um, yeah desaturate it. Yeah, something like this, much better. Uh, something like that. Cool. And then uh, let's do lamp, like headlamp. Wait, headlamp. Yeah, this can work. Something like this. Something like, oh yeah, this one could work definitely. All right. Um, uh, dark wood. Come on. It doesn't need to be that deep. Brown cherry wood. Cool. Select this and make it a lot darker. So this has to be somewhere around here. Uh, I mean, much, much better. Duplicate it, apply it here, and then over here, we're gonna go at the base color and we will just make it a lot darker. Why is it so reflective? Uh, let's go to fabric. I wanna try a fabric material on this. No, 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 no. Uh, fabric. Oh, the carpet as well. Yeah, the carpet as well. We need to change the carpet. Light gray strip rug. Yeah, we need that. Uh, the went corrupt or crashed, so. Uh, I need this darker. Is your eye, let me try this one. Okay, so this seems to be working fine. Nice. All right. So if I leave this at this and the exposure is somewhere around here, and then I add a rectangular light. And then I rotate it. Something like this should be good. Oh yes. Uh, let me do uh, 15. And what I also need to do is select this and probably make this a bit warmer. It just needs to be a bit warmer, I guess. Um, how can I try, yeah, sRGB and then, now I need to rotate it. Yeah, much better. I'm not even gonna touch it. Um, yeah, the only thing that I might do is I might try to match the flooring to what we have here. And then uh, let's take this off, let's go here, update. Uh, base color needs to be a bit lighter and then uh, swim material okay um, and then let's update the angle Also, we also need to make this metallic. Uh, metallic. This needs to be metallic as well. Nice. Let's go to the effects real quick. Uh, the white balance. I need more over here. 
and explosion is fine all of this i don't think that's an issue what about the ambient occlusion I think the angle is much better this way um, and yeah I think we should be good here what if I just go in the assets and try to find a shear material uh, for the uh, curtain what about curtain yeah whatever all right I think we're good to go here uh, I think I'm just gonna take the render right now and yeah move on with the ai enhancement render two ai enhancer strong and then render ai and then put in light in and yeah i think this is pretty much going to be it 